Welcome to the Potential Difference by Toroid Transformer video series. In this uh, video demonstration today, we are going to be comparing the performance of a conventional Toroid Transformer to a by toroid transformer and uh, we will be as per the previous video we will be bringing the uh, the generator up to a no load idle speed uh, rotational equilibrium and uh, then we will place the conventional transformer on load onto the light bulb and what we will see is we will deliver about uh, 7 watts to our load and um, the prime mover will re respond by consuming an additional 9 watts in order to deliver that uh, 7 watts and uh, the efficiency of the of the black box if you want to call it um, is approximately 83 percent but uh, the primary feature of the bi toroid transformer is how it's able to deliver reactive power to the transformer's primary and real power from the secondaries of the transformer. So uh, a conventional transformer, when it's on no load, it is consuming reactive power in the primary and it's when it's on no load it's not delivering any power to the load and when the transformer is placed on load the power factor of the load is transferred back to the primary of the transformer and now the transformer is consuming real power in the primary and it's delivering real power to the load. And we know this is occurring because when we look at the voltage and current sine waves for the primary, we will see that the uh, load current and load volt voltage are in phase on the oscilloscope. And when we place the bi toroid transformer onto the same load at the same speed, uh, at the same efficiency of operation for the prime mover, what we will see is that the, uh, the bi toroid transformer will deliver about 12 watts to the load and the prime mover increase is zero and in fact what we'll see is the prime mover's consumption will go down. And uh, the primary aspect uh, that we're illustrating in this video is that when we look at the bi toroid transformer which is connected to a load with a power factor of 1 the primary load current and voltage are 90 degrees out of phase so what that means is the the bi toroid transformer consumes reactive power in the primary 
but it delivers real power to the load. And uh, the, the co conventional transformer electromagnetically connects the generator to the load and the bi-toroid transformer uh, electrically, electromagnetically isolates the load from the generator. So when the, when the, when the conventional transformer is placed on load, there's a reaction in the prime mover and in the generator and in the bitoroid transformer, there is um, little to no reaction, little uh, no negative reaction, and again the the primary of the bitoroid transformer is consuming reactive power from the generator. The generator is only delivering reactive power to the primary of the bitoroid transformer, but the secondaries are delivering real power to the load. And with the conventional transformer, the conventional tra transformer's primary is consuming real power and delivering real power to the load while the generator is delivering real power to the uh, conventional transformer's primary. So, we'll fire up the generator and uh, we'll see what we, we can come up with.
Detroit Transformer is on the road right now. Our prime mover is consuming 284 watts.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Cheers.